there are currently three different species of camels living in the world. The dromedary camels, which are also called an Arabian camels. Dromedaries have one hump on their backs. Then there are the Bactrian camels, which have two humps, and then there are wild Bactrian camels, which are closely related to the Bactrian camel and also have two humps. Camels can survive in arid and fairly harsh conditions with extreme temperatures. Because of this, they can be found from many different kind of areas, but mainly from deserts, sand dunes, stony plains and mountains of Africa, Arabia, and Asia. There are a lot of domesticated camels around the world, but there are also wild camel populations existing. Do you know which country have the most wild camels? The country with most wild camels is Australia. Crikey! I bet you did not expect Australia to be the one with the most wild camels. There are about staggering 1.2 million wild camels in Australia. The camel population is still increasing in Australia, it's estimated the number of camels is doubling about every 8 to 10 years. Most of the camels in Australia are dromedaries, but also some Bactrian camels exist in Australia. Camels live in central Australia, but as they are highly mobile, they move in vast areas of Australia. Area of camel population covers at least 3.3 million square kilometers. How Camels Came to Australia? The first camel arrived to Australia in 12th of October 1840. He was the only camel who survived the trip to Australia. This camel was actually named Harry. There weren't many camels in the first few years, as by 1859, only seven camels had been imported into Australia. Domesticated camels had already been used successfully in desert conditions in other parts of the world for many centuries, especially when there was a need to cover great distances in harsh conditions. Around 1860, the Victorian government imported 24 camels from India for the oncoming inland expedition. As Australia was a vast country, camels were perfect choice for this expedition task, as they were ideal animals for arid deserts of central Australia, where food and water was not always available and where the climate was too harsh for horses. With the help of camels, it was much easier to reach the hard-to-reach areas in central parts of Australia. From the 1860s onwards, small groups of camels at a time were imported to Australia, mainly from India, Africa, and Arabia. It's estimated that at least 15,000 camels were imported to Australia between the years 1870 and 1900. At some phase, when motorized vehicles became common, camels were not needed anymore. Because of this, many of these camels were released into the wild. These released camels became the source for the large population of wild camels existing today, as they were well suited to the arid conditions of central Australia. Gradually the number of camels in Australia have increased to a level, where they have started to cause problems for the environment, and because of this, Australia have developed National Feral Camel Action Plan, and tries to control the number of camels. If you want to see big wild camel herds, you should head to Australia Mate.